Hey everyone, Techni here with a really quick video today and I just want to talk about mouse bungees and are they worth it? Will they make a difference and should you pick one up? So first off, a mouse bungee is not very expensive and there's many different styles out there. Some of them that just go off and clip into a little device and go right on your desk really nice and small. As you can see right here, we have the little spring styles. Um, this one's really cool because it can compact in there, go nice and small or extend it out right there. I really like this guy. I believe this one is only like 16 bucks. Very nice and heavy, so it does not move on your desk by any means. Over here we have the Razer one, and this one is uh, quite heavy as well. But the thing I don't like about this is it sits a little bit higher. If you can see right here, it's not much, it's a little pinch. But again, our mouse bungee is going to be right by our monitor, right? And if your monitor doesn't raise up, this Razer one really gets in the way. So I like this one here. If your monitor sits lower, bam, just bring it down if you like. Now one other thing I was just curious about. I'm like, hey, well, these little cable routers actually work. You know these little uh, rubber deals that you can stick anywhere like that? So I took one, stuck it on the bottom of my monitor right there, and then put my uh, cable going through it. Now, yes, the hole is a little bit bigger on this right here. So maybe you can line it with some tape or something. I don't know. But I just put mine in it, and the tension with it going down, and then out right here worked perfectly fine and it was fantastic because again I slapped it right on the bottom of my monitor right there completely out of the way and it worked great it really did sometimes I had to adjust the wire in there but that was very rare and what are these things like a stinking buck or something now while I was testing these bungees I wanted to test it with a wide array of mice some with a basic rubber cable some with a braided paracord cable and then some other mice with a heavy-duty braided cable so now depending on the mouse you're using some mice like let's take a look at the S1 right here. As you can see, the cable comes out and shoots up. So you don't get that initial drag straight out of the mouse right there. So it's actually not too bad. Now your cable was going to get stuck on anything you got in your desk right there, your monitor stand or some speakers or whatever, maybe, you know what I mean? But you don't have that initial drag with a mouse like that, which is pretty stinking nice. Now coming over to the Hottie, it does shoot up as well, just a little bit. But since you have that really light paracord, it pretty much drops instantly right onto your mouse pad. put them right into the mouse bungee here. As you can see, the cables shoot right up right there and you don't have that secondary drag. Like first, it's gonna depend on your mouse. How's it coming out of the mouse right there, right? But bam, it comes right up into the mouse bungee. This one over here, again, you can make shorter right there. Absolutely love this one. The Razer one set like that. But what I wanna show you, again, talking to the S1, it pretty much shoots up there and you have no drag whatsoever. Pull it out if you need a little bit more length right there and it stays there. Again, talking about these heavier cables, I wanna say they're like drastically heavy, but these thicker cables, like these uh, rubber ones here, they're gonna hold their shape and really keep their form up out of your way. Fantastic in a mouse bungee. Now coming over here to the hottie with the paracord on, as you can see, we have it shooting right up into our mouse bungee and everything, it looks fantastic. But once we get in here and start playing, get into our little session everything, look at the cable dropped right back down under our mouse pad. Now, we it's great, we got it still locked up in here so it's not catching on our monitor stand or anything else we have on our desk right there. It's also shooting up out of the mouse right there so we're not getting that initial drag. But yes, the rest of the cable is gonna come over here and drop down onto your mouse pad. So again, talking to paracorded mouse right here, I don't think it's like pointless or you shouldn't get one by any means. I think it's fantastic. Number one, because your cable's not drooped back behind your desk, catching on other stuff and dragging out and you're kind of pulling it up and all that stuff, putting that wear and tear on your, on your cable, right? Again, it sat right there on your desk, staying bam put for you, not getting caught in other stuff. And again, it is quite nice having it not drag all over your desk, just a little bit on your mouse pad right there. But where they really, really shine, again, is safe using a heavy duty a braided cable or one of these rubber cables. I mean, it is just absolutely awesome. So all in all, the main question, should you get a mouse bungee? I say yes. 100%. Again, there's so many out there. This guy right over here, I highly recommend. Again, it's only like 15, 16 bucks, something like that. Nice weight. It looks cool. You can get it in black and red, uh, this white version, a pink version as well. I just love how you can adjust it. It's kind of compact, nice weight to it. Very fantastic build. I love it. The Razer one's nice too, but again, it's just a little bit big, but still very nice. But as far as a mouse bungee in general, yes, I think everybody should have a mouse bungee on their desk. I have quite a few mouse bungees laying around here, and I'm honestly hooked on wireless mice right now, but I have no idea 
why I have two of these Razer bungees right here. So hey, let's go on and do a giveaway. I need to clear out some space here anyways. So we're gonna give away one of the Razer mouse bungees here. So how the giveaway is gonna work is number one, pick a number and put it right down in the comments. Let's go uh, one through a thousand, right down in the comments right there. And then you gotta follow on Twitter at the Techni one. And whenever we pick the number, we're gonna verify it on YouTube and Twitter. So make sure you follow on there because we'll be the verification right there. And we'll run this giveaway for, let's do it just for a week. That'll be pretty fun, right? Nice quick giveaway. And yes, unfortunately, you US shipping only. I mean, this thing's quite heavy. I actually might ship it out of the box because it's already quite heavy. I need to save some money on shipping here. But hey, that's it. Really just a quick short one here. It's always been a question that was on my mind. And again, I went through this really uh, long test. I got like a real short video here, but the test actually took me quite a while. But hey, I hope I was able to help you out a little bit. Good luck with the giveaway. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.